Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing a quick unboxing video of this Odroid HC4. So let's open it up and see what's inside. Um, now not a whole lot comes in the box besides the actual Odroid HC4, but let, let's open it up and anyway. see that's basically everything in the box. Um, comes with this plastic shield thing, and this is it. Comes with a transparent case. I'm going to throw this box to the side here. So it comes with this nice transparent case, and you can see there are some uh, some SATA connections here. There's two of them, so you can connect dual SATA drives. And these slots are big enough to fit a large mechanical hard drive in here, or you could also put a, an SSD in here. And I'm actually going to be putting SSDs in here. So um, I purchased a couple really inexpensive Kingston SSDs. Now, um, 240 gigs, I think these are the smallest I could find, and these were extremely affordable on Amazon. So I'm gonna be installing, not in this video, but I'm gonna be installing dual um, SSDs in there. Now, it won't boot, it doesn't boot off of those, it's supposed to boot off of an SD card. So the SD card is gonna go in this SD card slot right here. So I've got a new SD card waiting to have the OS installed on it so we can run that. So that's going to be coming up in the next video. You're going to want to stay tuned for that. I'll probably hit the subscribe button. But, um, but yeah, let's take a little bit closer of a look here. So we've got a fan on the side here. It's all transparent, so it's kind of cool looking, and you can see what's in there. Um, yeah, it's got one USB port. That's it, just one. So if you want like a keyboard and mouse attached to this, you'd need a... A USB hub, usually you're not going to be doing that. This is really meant to be used as like a server or or like a NAS or something. That's that's actually what I'm going to use this for. I'm going to build a NAS with this. Um, so power, um, yeah, USB, SD card, HDMI, and Ethernet. Now HDMI is, is going to be, so you have your USB and HDMI just in case you want to, you know, bring it up to install the OS or to test it out or what, whatever you want to do. Um, it's just kind of good to have, um, and uh, yeah, that that's about that, that's about all that's there that's there for. Um, really, you're not gonna. This isn't really intended to be run as like a desktop system. You could, probably could use it as a desktop system with extra storage. Um, you, you know, there's no reason you couldn't do that, but it's not really intended for that. It's it's really intended more to be just used as a server. You'd stick this on a shelf somewhere and just use it. But it is kind of nice. It comes with this kind of toaster shaped case and it is has some nice build quality. That's actually thick plastic. This isn't that thin, um, pretty durable. I feel like my kids could throw this on the ground and it probably wouldn't break. Not that I would want to let them get their hands on this, but that is about it. Yeah, so you got, you can see the heat sink on the back here. Um, not a whole lot else to look at. Um, yeah, what else? You have a few uh, chips on the front here, probably RAM or, or some controller chip. I'm, I'm not sure actually. And if you look inside, you can see there's um, there are a few pins. So if you were to open this up, there are some pins on the system board. I'm going to have to take another look at what those might be for. It looks like one of these is labeled COM. But in any case, um, we're, yeah, just wanted to do a quick unboxing, show you what comes in the box and what we're going to be working on next. So we'll have more details on this. Um, we're going to, we're going to set this up, install the OS, and then we're, we are going to, uh, you know, show, show you how we can set up a NAS with this. So in the next video, I should be showing you a completed NAS and how I set it up. So that, that's the goal anyway. So I'm going to go check, uh, you know, what OS options we have to download for this, what, what's supported, um, and it's install an OS, um, you know, create a volume, probably just going to create a mirror for those two drives and get everything going. So uh, yeah, stay tuned for that. Hit the subscribe button, hit the little bell icon. Otherwise YouTube won't let you know when you come out with a new video. And, um, you know, if you know something I don't know, uh, leave a comment down below, um, not just for me, but for the next person who comes along, comments, questions, criticisms, anything you want to say, just, uh, just leave, leave a comment down below. We, we do want to hear what you have to say, and uh, you might want to give us a thumbs up, and uh, that's, that's about it for today. So hopefully you found this interesting. Um, as always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys on that next video.